Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. I'm going to take a look at your Mercury retrograde messages and love. See what energies are playing out here for you. And uh, yeah, if you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below this video. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe if you're new. Um, okay, let's get into your reading. And also, if you want to get access to my community tab, you can sign up for the 99 cents a month membership as I'm going to be making that private. Okay, and you can also or just join my channel, 9.99 a month, and get access to free readings, access to my private Facebook group, and all those goodies are in there. Okay, look what fell out, Six of Cups, so definitely a blast from the past. Let's see what this energy is all about, what's going on here. Blast from the past, okay. So, so for some of you, we have Scorpio cards here, so you could be connecting with the Scorpio, there could be someone who's got Scorpio in their chart, making a return, um, something that has ended, and this person making a return in your life. Okay, wow, three Scorpio cards, what the heck? Okay, <laughs> so yeah, it doesn't have to be a Scorpio. I just wanna point out, um, this is like unexpected change. Somebody's coming back here. Okay, for some of you, could be thinking about someone from your past, who has passed away and um, there is a very like a heavy energy um, they might have passed away unexpectedly that it's not a prediction of somebody passing away this just feels more like and it's very specific for some of you that are during the retrograde are thinking about someone okay so yeah there's apart from that yeah there's like an unexpected like boom Somebody's coming out of someone that you thought something was over with or that you thought it was like dead in the water and it was done and gone and there's like a transformation happening. It's just going to be highly like crazy, unexpected for you. Let me see what other messages are coming through here. Okay. All right, for some of you, there could be a queen or a king of wands, fire energy. Also, this could be someone who's showing up here. Very confident, someone popular as well. Um, yeah, they could be Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or have that fire energy. Let me see, show me. I feel like, okay, mm, wow defensive fighting for something here you guys if you are connected with whoever this person is from your from your past so i feel like somebody's coming in here unexpectedly wanting to fight for this connection standing their ground about a relationship show me this death card what is the message here with this death card okay Oh, wow. Yep. Eight of Cups. This is like there was a temporary separation and now there's a return. Okay. Something that you thought was over or something you thought ended. Making a return. Now we have the King of Swords. Okay. Could be uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius as well. So I feel like this person, it's going to be a shock this person showing up here they have something to tell you they're very clear about what you know wanting to try to make a connection here work during this retrograde okay wow again with the scorpio card that's four of them the tower well it's mars energy judgment um the death card yeah you guys you know there's definitely there's so much reconciliation all over this reading I feel like this person is like coming in. Um, they know what they want now, you know? And it, as I always say, at the end of the day, just because somebody wants something doesn't mean you have to want it. It's up to you. Some of you might be hoping for this energy. Some of you might just be like, no, don't bring it back. <laughs> that kind of thing. It, it doesn't, it, it has no effect on you what other people do. This is the energy of somebody coming through here you are the one for them. This is like an awakening. Um, somebody might be in the UK or maybe lives in the UK. 
Uh, let me see here. Let's look at you. I just want to see you for a second here. Okay. Well, you're in the process here of rebuilding. This is about training. Maybe you're rebuilding your your physical, your training. You could be doing some like studying. You could be going back to school. You could be just, you know, their mentorship for some of you. This is like teamwork. Um, I feel like you're in a position where you're working with other people or working with someone and you're carving out a new life for yourself. You're currently doing this and this is like very focused. You got your head in the books. You got your head very focused on things that you're doing in your life, creating, um, rebuilding, repositioning yourself to, um, you're cutting away all the things that aren't needed in your life. A lot of you are doing that during the Mer Mercury retrograde or you're feeling like this is something that's just being put upon you that you have to take a look at. And um, yeah, look, taking a look, looking at your self-worth, looking at your value, asking yourself, what am I worth? What am I worth to other people or specific people? Um, you know, who is really there for me, who wants to be there for me. But it's mostly, I feel like you're really taking a look at yourself and you have plans you're putting into place, ideas, career stuff, your um, health, um, your mental, your spiritual. You know, it's interesting because I feel like that coin is very reflective with the page of pentacles and I feel like you are looking at yourself in the mirror um, or just doing some self-reflection as well and you know really taking a look at what you want what you're building in your life what you're doing it's all this pentacle energy so you know <laughs> ace of wands yep your creative inspiration some of you are just looking for someone that's <laughs> some of you ladies looking for someone that's you know got that rod in their hand this is like the potential for new beginnings here the physical attraction you're working on yourself like i said okay yeah so wow you're in dream mode here you really are up in like like your dreams are speaking to you i feel like um so we have Pisces energy here as well. I kind of feel like you're in this position where it's like you don't know what, where you're going to end up. You're not really sure with the outcome. You kind of have a vision. You have some visions of, you know, how you want things to turn out, you know, but you're making plans, putting plans into place and working towards these things. There's a lot of great potential. And I feel like you see this potential in front of you of what the outcome right so but you can't as you're creating it you may not be seeing anything just yet like for example you start painting um like on some canvas and you kind of have an idea of what you want something to look like but so you're just one brush stroke at a time and just creating and building something here in your life um it's not you know that moon energy is kind of like well there's not it's not the sun you know the sun is very bright and exposes everything you can't really see all you can really see are your dreams and your plans and your hopes and while you're focusing on yourself and doing all these things for yourself this is when you have somebody here during this retrograde reaching out to you okay reaching out to you let's take a look at this moon energy Oh, wow. Yeah. See, that's the 10 of cups. That's the 10. This is like your dreams are fulfillment, wish fulfillment. So you guys have, I don't know specifically, but you have stuff going on here in your life that you're coming about and reorganizing yourselves and repositioning yourselves for what you want and what you're doing. And um, you're in a good place. I feel like you know, or you're getting yourself in a very good place. And I feel like whoever this person or these people are, are reaching back out, wanting that reconciliation, wanting to fight for this connection. Um, I'm feeling like I need to pull a few more cards on what's going on with this person here. 
Okay, so this, the signs that I called out, remember, it doesn't have to be the specific signs. It's the energy that could be showing up here. Um, court card wise, though, we have fire and air. All right, let me see. What other information? I want to take a look at this judgment card because this is like an opening up. Somebody's having an awakening. They're awakening during this retrograde, thinking about you, wanting to come back or wanting to at least reconnect with you. Okay. This person is refusing offers from other people. They're refusing offers from others. They're apathetic towards other love offers. I mean, they're getting them. They're definitely generating interest from other people, but they don't want, um, it's not, it's not, they want you. Now, I don't know if you two should be together or not. It, this might not, this might be this person who's just, coming to terms like maybe missing you and then wanting to reconnect with you does that mean you both should be together you know I, i'm not so sure i don't know but it, it could very well be going down like you were someone like the best thing in their life and or they can't really they can't seem to find anybody else who compares to you does that mean they could be settling because they did have you at one time so you know why they let you go why did this person okay so seven of swords so this person might have been like cheating or sneaking around or you know do you even want that it looks like you're in a really good place okay this person might have been very strategic and you know lies and that kind of thing and some of you are like no i got you got yourselves in a good place and you're doing better and you're feeling confident and you have hopes and dreams and plans again okay Show me this other person. Okay. Wow. Look at how contrasting these energies are. This is a person who steals candy from the candy store. And this is a person who like owns the candy store and works to keep it going. So this person has a little bit of that, both energies, or at least had it in the past. You know, they could be very tricky. And then at the same time, there's a contrast here. This person also would work, but then maybe they were stealing from work or stealing or just being consistent and then stealing away on the weekends and not connecting with you or not keeping up with you or letting you know what they were doing and just kind of just being sneaky in some way okay yeah well knight of cups so this person's bringing in that love offer you know whatever sign this person is i'm gonna have to tell you to expect during this retrograde it goes up until I believe it's October 2nd that this you're going to hear from this person. Let me just get a couple of island cards. Let's see what other messages. Okay, self-indulgence. Hmm. Focus on self-worth. Time is it's time to heal. Doing the shadow work and self-appreciation, Virgo. So, I feel like right now during this retrograde, you're focusing on self, you're healing self, you're doing what you need to do for you, which is excellent, excellent. I don't feel like you're just burying yourself in work. I feel like you're in some type of creative mode, which is releasing and healing, okay? Whatever that may be for you. Okay, let's see. What else does Virgo need to know? Okay. Huh, sunglasses popped out. Okay, somebody's watching you. Yep, somebody's watching, hiding behind sunglasses, watching, stalking, um, focusing outward. Yeah, so you've got somebody here who's got their eye on you and watching you uh, self-indulge, <laughs> doing what's best for you, taking care of yourself. I hope nobody's peeping in your window at night watching you self-indulge because that's creepy as f um but apart from that like they're seeing i feel like this is like drawing this person into you they're seeing that you're like i don't you know anybody got time for that i'm not messing around with any of this crazy relationship stuff there was your sign so yeah i feel like you're all about you right now and you will be and you continue to be 
and that's drawing somebody in ah, here comes the love call virgo here comes the love call someone expresses love a message of love thinking of you and letting you know oh boy yeah you're getting that phone call somebody's going to reach out to you let's see what other messages there are here let's see virgo what other messages of love does virgo need to know okay wait the timing is not quite right all right that's a very strong message for you virgo um you have to get into your groove and some of you already have and some of you are still working on that whatever the situation whatever new things you might discover during this retrograde i feel like you have to get into that groove of consistency and self-indulgence and taking care of self before you allow someone to come back from the past and then risk disrupting this yellow brick road that you're on okay um so don't jump in if somebody comes back whether you want them to or not if you don't then there's nothing to worry about but if you are kind of like yeah you do want this person back don't rush back in with them because bloody stumps man they got to show up with that bloody stumps if they're just missing you and they're reaching out okay great but you know <laughs> like i don't know beat it if you're not going to follow through right so you got to wait you, you just can't rush back in to someone that just calls you yep you got to have your boundaries firm boundaries are needed right now okay virgo especially during the retrograde people always come back during the retrograde and virgo some of you might even be reaching out to someone during the retrograde wait don't make that call don't text don't reach out just leave it let it be let everything be still right now while you're doing what you need to do for yourself okay look decision it's time to decide about this relationship yeah this is a very strong message here especially if somebody does come back or if you feel like you want to reach out to someone there's a decision it's it's undecided at this time of what you want to do you know for yourself that what you're doing down here is definitely what you're doing like you're pretty confident what you're building, what you're creating for your life, this path that you're on, that yellow brick road, you're doing that for you and you're, you're feeling confident and that's good. You're in a really good place. But when it comes to this particular relation, I almost said rebound, this could be a rebound. Wait, do not allow someone to make you their rebound, I just heard. Okay, let me get... Um, You know, you guys, um, if you want to purchase my Moon Pie Tarot deck, you can get this. There's a link below. I use this in my readings. There's a link below the video to purchase this deck. Okay. Mature, dynamic, fiery person, male or female. Um, that's fire energy, Sagittarius, Leo. Aries and also fear and anxiety is here okay so there is someone showing up here who's of a fire sign that is full of fear and anxiety that you're leaving them that you are not interested this person this could be part of the reason somebody is reaching out to you um, there could be an anxious attachment if you're not sure what that means um, I have a playlist that I talk about the anxious attachment love style this person could be very anxiously attached or becoming anxiously attached and reaching out due to fear and anxiety that you're going to be gone for good and they could be that way because you may be a bit avoidant now with this person since whenever okay let's see whatever messages what other messages are coming up here for virgo okay popular social female okay now that is the queen of wands so there's very much 
I feel like they're just giving me the same message. There's very much someone who is either of the fire signs or this is someone who's embodying this boldness, this courage, but it's it's coming from a place of fear and anxiety with this person. It doesn't mean it can't work. It's just you have to be sure, okay? Because sometimes people will come back or they'll reach back out because whatever their fears drive them to. And then once they feel like that connection gets made, then their fears are calmed and their anxiety goes away. And then they're like, oh, well, I, I don't feel anx anxious anymore, so I don't need to put any effort in. Okay. Oh my gosh, a boss email. What the heck? This is again, this is Aries. I'm, I'm feeling like this is someone who's coming in those very bossy energy here. Very. I can't even believe the, the male and the female energy is showing up so much. <laughs> could be an Aries. Somebody comes in. Father figure. It could be an ex some, or a mother or someone that you had children with. It, it could be that person. Okay. For some of you. Okay. Yep, see, the struggle is over. See, that's why you have to wait. Because I feel like if this person is coming in with this anxious attachment, calming their, their anxieties would be you being available to them again in the way you were in the past, um, if you were. And then um, they're like, oh, okay, so no more struggle. I'm fine. I'm good. Yeah, I feel like that's a very strong, repetitive message. It keeps happening here. Let me see what your romance angels... Okay, all right, there's soulmate connection here. Yes, this is your soulmate. <laughs> a lot of struggle with this person. Um, a lot of struggle with this person. You've experienced this past person. You know they're your soulmate. Um, but man, I don't know. There's, you gotta just keep staying focused on yourself. You know, cause some of you might've been involved with this person and you lost yourselves in some manner okay and i feel like a lot of you are getting yourselves back to like you know i'm doing me now i'm doing me now let me see and just so you know um past person could mean it doesn't have to mean it's your ex uh narc <laughs> the past person could be somebody from a really long time ago i know some of us got some age on us here so this could be like someone from a really long time ago this could be someone that you were recently dating and it didn't go anywhere you know um let me see what else is going on here Okay, worth waiting for. All right, so Spirit's trying to tell you the major message here is just be patient. Just wait. I do feel like, and this is not for all of you, this is for some of you, that someone here, this is your soulmate, and someone here is the one who's worth waiting for. But at the end of the day, just because House of Virgo said it doesn't mean you have to do it. I'm not commanding anybody here. You make up your own mind, okay? you make up your own mind but when you're focusing on yourself and making your life wonderful and great the universe kind of makes it up for you right so you have to just keep on that path keep doing what you're doing don't quit don't give up all right let's see the chinese signs here okay year of the rooster year of the dog year of the snake Okay, year of the pig, uh, year of the tiger, again, year of the horse, year of the rabbit, a rooster again, so we don't need that twice, tiger again, okay, and year of the ox, all right, so this could be your sign, it could be their sign, it could be both of you, or it could be none of you. So try not to sweat it, as I always say. All right, let's get some numbers. Okay, so, hmm, 101 is showing up again. We have Sagittarius, Aries, Gemini, twice, as always. <laughs> um, okay, September 20th, we have 1111 right here. Maybe you're clock right now and it's 11 11 um 
somebody was born in 73. Um, something significant happened in 2014. Between 2014 and 2016, something major occurred. I'm also picking up Leo and Capricorn. And they're also giving me... Yeah, I'm getting Pisces again. Taurus for sure. Another Virgo and a Cancer. Um, okay. So those messages are for some of you, not all of you. All right, let's see what your charms are. Let's see what your charms have to say, Virgo. Okay. Oh. Okay, we have a fox, little fox here. Okay, somebody's looking foxy. Someone thinks you're foxy. <laughs> Do people even say that anymore? Oh, you're foxy. Ooh, what's that word? You're fancy. You're fancy and foxy. <laughs> okay, mm, all right, they're giving me pixelated pixels. They're telling me pixels. And also, um, hmm. I'm seeing a, a, a votive, like a candle holder, and it has, it kind of looks like this, but it's got a candle, and it sits somewhere where there's like a white kitchen, but it has this beautiful glass pixelated, um, like little stones on it. So I don't know if you know what that is, but I'm also seeing, um, you're going to see somebody's picture, and there's a face that's kind of pixelated so as to not be able to see the face, okay? Somebody's got a face pixelated. Like it's blotting them out, blotting somebody's face out. Just wanna get a couple more of these. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so we have a bumblebee. All right, bumblebee is significant for someone here. And, okay. Oh, and you have fearless, the word fearless. That's you, Virgo. Keep that, remind that. You got to like get a tattoo or write that somewhere to remind you that you are fearless. And then we also have like um, a state building or um, Russia, something to do with maybe Russia or um, Rome. Somewhere in Europe, I feel. Something to do with Europe or European building of some sort. Could be also like um, Washington, either DC or there's like a state capital or some kind of very important, a very important um, building. Okay, so we also have, hold on. I used to think this was a lemon. Um, on a vine, but it's not. Maybe my eyesight's improving. This looks like a little birdie on um, a tree. It's a little birdie on a tree branch. So, oh, okay. You know, birds on a wire. A crow left of the murder. Hmm. Um, birds on a wire. So there's definitely some kind of like Tweety message coming in. Or maybe somebody has a Tweety bird tattoo or something, or someone has little collectibles of Tweety bird. But um, yeah, there's definitely a message. It could be a tweet or a Twitter message for some, if you use that. For others, there's like, um, you know, like a telephone wire. I feel like there's a call. And I said there was a phone call coming in. So there's some kind of a call coming in or you just look outside and you see all these birds sitting across telephone wires if you live in an area where there's telephone or electric wires between poles you might see that or you see this now okay and a very basic key oh boy you know Virgo you have the key to your destiny you can do and go in whatever direction or path because you have the key so if you don't if, if you want this connection back and you want to if this person like if you're going to open yourself up to that then you you are turning the key yourself and you can't blame anybody because you hold the key you either lock the door or you unlock the door you have the choice it's up to you to make this decision 
And if somebody comes back in and they don't follow through, you cannot blame them. You are the one who opens that door if you've opened it. But if the door is locked and you're like, nope, that's your, you are making the decision. Remember, you have the power to decide who and what comes into your life and who and what stays and who and what doesn't come in. Okay. So I'm going to leave your message there. I hope that that was helpful and I will see you guys tomorrow with your weekend reading. So have a lovely, happy birthday to all my Virgos who are celebrating birthday today and I'll see you guys soon. All right.